Hello everyone, uh, this is Sarah from North Texas. Welcome to my YouTube channel, You Be The Gardeners. Um, in this video, you are going to um, learn about uh, how to set up a covered patio greenhouse. Uh, right now, uh, you are looking at the picture of my greenhouse. If you have a covered patio and uh, you would like to um, create a project like this, uh, please don't skip this video. Please watch till the end. Uh, it's going to be um, um, very interesting. Um, it, I promise this is not going to be a very fancy video, but uh, definitely you can get something out of it when you finish watching this video. Okay, so right now you are looking at the picture of my covered patio uh, greenhouse. And um, I started this uh, project uh, last year, uh, October, around October of 2021. The reason I wanted to do this project is for two reasons. Uh, I wanted a greenhouse that can withstand the, the crazy weather that happens at times in Texas. Also, uh, very bad weather like the, uh, February of 2021. Uh, so I thought of, uh, um, you know, creating a greenhouse in my covered patio. Um, so that's how this project has started. So uh, to begin with this project, I... Uh, I tried to collect some data online. Uh, also, I browsed through a lot of websites, YouTubes, and uh, on social media too. So initially, I didn't get that much of input. Uh, but uh, on Facebook, I happened to um, find a photo that matched my view of my covered patio greenhouse. Uh, so uh, luckily, uh, I was able to contact uh, that person his name is mr santosh from austin i thank him at this moment for this um, inspiring project i heard that uh, the commercial the commercially available uh, greenhouse on the market uh, does not uh, withstand the uh, crazy wind and also uh, the bad weather uh, so i wanted to try a different uh, route so uh, that's how this project originated and uh, let's get into this um, uh, video so here i'll explain how i implemented this and what are all the products that i bought uh, to complete this project so right now you're looking at the picture uh, of the uh, covered sheet uh, that I bought. Uh, I bought it on Amazon and uh, uh, it is available uh, in different sizes. So m you measure your patio and uh, according to your uh, uh, dimensions, you can go on Amazon and uh, uh, you find uh, which one suits your need. And also my patio was like uh, only uh, 200 and uh, close to 280 square feet. So I bought like four of those sheets and uh, I took those uh, sheets to uh, Home Depot and also I would recommend you to take a picture of your uh, patio so that uh, you can go to Home Depot and ask the person uh, who can help you uh, um, on what kind of screws and uh, uh, washers that you need to hang um, the sheets, the covered sheets in your uh, patio. So look at the picture. In this picture, you see holes uh, and it also has some rings. So this is the one through which you screw uh, and uh, uh, you use this tarp to hang it in the patio. These are all the uh, screws and uh, the washer uh, that I used to, uh, you know, hang my uh, tarp in the patio. Now let us take a look at this picture this is the tarp that i used uh, to cover uh, the ground of my patio um, i used uh, two tarp sheets uh, this you can buy it on amazon as well now that you have uh, the uh, tarp the white color tarp that i was talking about uh, the next step that you have to do is you have to uh, attach the tarps together so how do you do that you need Velcro to attach. Either you can uh, use the ties, zip ties, 
uh, or uh, whatever that you want but I used velcro uh, because it's very easy to uh, you know take it off when uh, when I don't want the greenhouse so I used uh, the heavy duty uh, adhesive backing hoop and loop uh, velcro that I bought on Amazon uh, so this is one and a half inches so I uh, took this velcro and then uh, uh, I attach this to the tarp and also I wanted to suggest you to stitch uh, this velcro onto the tarp because uh, if the weather is very hot I noticed that the adhesive was coming off so I had to manually stitch it uh, stitch this uh, velcro to the tarp so if you can uh, get it stitched then uh, it is very easy for you to um, attach these tops together now let me tell you how to secure the bottom of the tarp uh, for that uh, you need uh, sandbags i bought like five to six sandbags uh, from home depot and i spaced it evenly according to the size of my patio uh, so uh, this really helped me uh, the uh, greenhouse uh, from the heavy wind and uh, so far it holds good now the next thing that you need uh, is the heater uh, to uh, heat up your uh, covered patio greenhouse and uh, I bought this uh, indoor uh, heater from Amazon and uh, uh, this heater is uh, pretty good uh, for size of uh, 200 to 300 square feet uh, um, covered patio uh, so far this is working just fine I, uh, I switch this on only when I have uh, a weather that's uh, less than 30 degree uh, Fahrenheit uh, so I switch this like uh, switch this on for like three to four hours and um, um, and this works pretty good so far the next thing that you need uh, is the outdoor outlet uh, power strip uh, I bought this on Amazon it has uh, eight outlets as you can see and this one is waterproof as well uh, um, I normally don't uh, plug in the heater to this one uh, the heater is recommended to uh, plug into the outdoor electric boxes so please avoid plugging the heater to this outlet power strip the next thing that I'm going to talk about is the grow light uh, I have uh, two of these grow light uh, in my greenhouse uh, I switch this on uh, whenever there is uh, no enough sunlight uh, that's needed for the plant. I have used these uh, zipper doors uh, to create a door uh, to access my backyard whenever uh, uh, I need to go out. So this you can buy it on Amazon. Uh, this one is really helpful. I'll give uh, the link to all the materials that I bought to set up the greenhouse I welcome you all to my greenhouse now let us take a look at my greenhouse so what you're seeing here is um, this is how I uh, set up my greenhouse uh, those tarps are uh, screwed to the patio you can see that and you all you also can see the zipper door so you can unzip and get access to the backyard um, this is really a useful one uh, you can set it up wherever you want to access and you can see the black line over there so that's the velcro that I have attached used uh, to attach the tarps together uh, you can take a look around now and you can also see uh, the plants inside my greenhouse are really healthy and I think they are happy as well so far uh, the pomegranate is the one uh, that feels uh, little uh, that looks little dull uh, other than that all other plants in my greenhouse are uh, happy and healthy and you can also see uh, the grow light over there uh, and uh, you can also see uh, the blue color tarp on the ground um, and uh, 
I wanted to uh, show you uh, the thermostat. So if you want to, uh, you know, automatically control your heater, grow lights and everything, uh, you can buy a smart uh, thermostat uh, where uh, it looks for the uh, temperature of the heater. And uh, if it is too high, uh, it will shut off the heater. And also if it is too low, it will switch on. If the temperature is too low, uh, it will automatically switch on the heater. I did not use an automatic one. Uh, I wanted to um, manually control it. So uh, you can look at the picture of the thermostat that I have there in my greenhouse. This one is pretty uh, like... Um, uh, not that expensive it's just six dollars for two of those and you can see the uh, outdoor power strip that i have over there i have a fan that i bought from uh, walmart uh, this i use for uh, air circulation i normally keep my um, zipper door uh, always uh, down because uh, uh, you know i don't like a garden lizard and sometimes i had an experience of a snake coming in a, a garden snake so if you are a person like me you can keep the door uh, shut off and then you can have your uh, uh, fan running for one to two hours depending upon the humidity inside uh, so that's all and uh, uh, I hope you like this video and if you are really interested in this project I wish you good luck and uh, if you have any questions or anything uh, please uh, comment here I'll try to get back to you and uh, thank you so much for watching this video you all have a wonderful day wish you good luck Thank you so much.